Uh, Japanese uh, nuclear policy has been managed under different uh, uh, ministries, uh, uh, namely uh, METE has been uh, responsible for industrial use of uh, nuclear energy, uh, including the uh, application technologies development. And the Ministry of uh, Education and Science has been uh, uh, in charge of the academic uh, technical uh, technology uh, development. And the Cabinet Office is responsible responsible for overall national nuclear uh, policy. Uh, <coughs> no uh, legal action. Uh, has been uh, uh, taken uh, after the Fukushima accident uh, uh, to change uh, this structure yet. Uh, however, uh, I observe that uh, there has been uh, some uh, uh, changes uh, under the uh, DPJ administration uh, in a style approaching the uh, energy and environment uh, issues in Japan. And, uh, this was first uh, uh, intended to cope with the problems uh, relating to the global warming strategy. Uh, that is the, the administration, the former uh, ministerial level energy and environment conference, and it is now uh, 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 discussing the nuclear policy quite extensively. Uh, I think it is good thing that the uh, under this uh, conference, uh, the, now the different uh, ministries are um, working uh, together and uh, uh, collaborating uh, 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 beyond the fences of each uh, office. Uh, that is a very important thing, uh, an important change in the kind of the, the, the nuclear industrial policy in Japan. Medi has been promoting the use of nuclear energy on one hand. Uh, it's an arm, nuclear and industrial uh, safety agency, uh, uh, industrial uh, safety agency, uh, or uh, NISA, is uh, responsible for safe use of uh, nuclear uh, on desert. Uh, in Japan, the criticism is arising uh, on this, uh, that the, the same uh, ministry has uh, responsibility to promote nuclear energy and on one hand and uh, to check its safety on the other. Of course, uh, I understand the kind of the emotional response after the uh, nuclear accident that uh, uh, there should be kind of the conflict of interest, uh, on one hand uh, promoting the nuclear, on the other hand checking its operation. However, uh, no uh, legal action has been uh, uh, taken in Japan to I institutionalize this yet. And uh, I think that the, uh, we have to be very careful, careful about this. Uh, in consideration of the effective management of uh, nuclear uh, industry or nuclear utilization. The, the emotional uh, 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 response is understandable, but the, uh, for example, uh, I don't know any vehicle where uh, the accelerator is operated by one person and the brake is operated by the other. You know, if I put on an accelerator and my wife uh, kicks in the brakes, uh, what happens when you are driving a car? So uh, uh, we have to uh, treat this issue uh, very carefully to consider uh, the effectiveness of uh, uh, policy management. And I should say that it is not a matter of apparatus, rather than a matter of driver of the policy. And the, one of the, uh, my concerns is that uh, we may need uh, uh, people of more uh, professional experiences rather than uh, uh, academicians and uh, government officers uh, with oversized heads.
Uh, after the Fukushima incident, uh, uh, we, we cannot avoid the substantial setback uh, in uh, energy policy, which has been uh, very much oriented to promote uh, use of uh, nuclear. On the other hand, uh, we uh, uh, most welcome the rising momentum uh, because of the accident that our, our society should promote uh, uh, energy efficiency and uh, conservation and uh, develop uh, uh, renewable energies uh, uh, towards uh, construction of a low carbon uh, uh, society. Uh, despite that Japan is said to be the most uh, uh, advanced country in terms of the energy efficiency uh, facing the Fukushima accident, we were uh, successful to conserve electricity consumption by 18% year on year last summer. And uh, this uh, fact gives us a great dream, I believe. Uh, even uh, uh, in Japan, the penetration rate of the most modern uh, uh, energy efficiency technology, uh, I personally think uh, it's around just a 10 percent or so, and the uh, the the, these, the the best technologies uh, maybe 20 30 percent more I think effective than the average uh, technologies applied on the existing stock. So, uh, and uh, uh, new technologies under development may be able to uh, achieve much more efficient uh, 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 energy use in future. So, uh, uh, on this side, uh, we have, uh, we, I very much look forward to the potential of this uh, technology development. We should put the uh, uh, energy as an important element in our uh, challenges of uh, reforming our industrial structure and the uh, lifestyle uh, to construct a, a better future uh, society. Uh, then the, we'll be able to achieve a, a substantial reduction in energy intensity uh, in the long run. Uh, if people uh, deem that guys uh, driving a gas gasser uh, uh, car uh, uh, no more uh, be esteemed, then the uh, world will change. Uh, in this sense, the, the United States uh, must endeavor to create a uh, culture more suitable for the future world of human race. Uh, when we uh, uh, debate on promotion of uh, energy efficiency and renewables, uh, I think uh, we should apply our knowledge and on human behavior, so to speak, uh, uh, economics of uh, action taking. Uh, human being, even as an uh, uh, organization, a government organization or industrial organization uh, takes action only on priority issues and uh, maybe uh, on top five uh, uh, issues of concerns. Uh, others maybe put aside first and maybe uh, forgotten later. Uh, as an example, uh, people in the energy village tend to discuss individual economics on measures and um, projects for energy efficiency or the uh, uh, development of uh, renewables or that the emission trading uh, in an attractive measure to reduce uh, emissions. Uh, however, even when a project is very much uh, economic, if it affects only 1% of the uh, uh, turnover of your uh, company, say, the, uh, uh, most of people would not take action on it. Uh, according to uh, uh, some survey conducted by Medi, 
the energy cost amounts to only 1.5% of the total cost for small and medium uh, uh, industries in Japan. Uh, therefore, we should consider how to keep people be, be aware of importance of energy issues and uh, persuade them to take actions in the proper direction. The, in this sense, the tax exemption on corporate uh, income, for example, according to use of green energy, may be much more effective than emission trading. Although Japan has uh, tried to enhance uh, overseas uh, oil and gas exploration, uh, I used to be engaged in that kind of uh, same business uh, in the past, but uh, Japanese policy has not been very much successful in this regard. However, in recent years, after <coughs> several mergers and uh, uh, two Japanese uh, oil companies, uh, namely Impex and JX, JX is a former Nippon Wharf uh, where I used to work. Uh, I should say uh, these two have become in uh, uh, sides of American independent, not majors, independent or companies. Uh, they may be uh, listed now among the member of the World Oil Club. Uh, but they are still very tiny uh, compared with the international major oil companies or uh, recent, recently emerging the national oil companies. Uh, and uh, at this moment, the Japanese uh, government is not making uh, effective uh, support policy in this regard yet. Uh, we may have to uh, make much more efforts. Uh, on the uh, uh, next point, uh, in the oil industry, after uh, the turn of the century, uh, I observed that exploration and development in uh, uh, various uh, frontier areas uh, has been uh, proceeding, and uh, such as uh, deep water or Arctic water. Mm. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, thanks to uh, tremendous uh, technical progress and also the substantial increases in oil prices at the same time. For example, around uh, 1990 when I was in the oil and gas industry, the, when we talked about the deep water, it was uh, the deep water depth was 300 meters or 500 meters. When we talk about deep well, the depth was uh, 4,000 or 5,000 meters. Nowadays, uh, it has tremendously uh, uh, extended uh, deep water well at well in the water depths of uh, 1,500 meter or much more deeper. And the deep well means the well, a well uh, uh, drilled uh, to the depth of uh, se even 7,000 meters or more. And the, uh, another uh, technical uh, uh, example is that the blowout preventer or BOP uh, that contains the pressure underground com coming up to the surface uh, is a very important apparatus to avoid the uh, blowout of a well. And uh, around 1990, the average capacity of VOP was about 5,000 psi pounds per in square inch. But nowadays, uh, in in the deep water and uh, uh, high pressure wells, uh, uh, BOP of 20,000 or 25,000 psi are used. Uh, this has enabled uh, very much ambitious uh, drilling uh, to the uh, underground formations. And at the same time, the, the cost has become a tremendous uh, expensive uh, compared with this. So 
Sometimes the, when uh, we encounter uh, accident or potential accident, uh, we just consider the uh, increased cost. The absolute amount has increased by big compared with just 10 years ago. Uh, sometimes uh, when we calculate the potential uh, uh, in incremental cost, you, you maybe get us upset easily. But the, if we observe uh, 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 just uh, uh, principles for safety with uh, a great uh, respect to the, the nature, you know. I think uh, uh, most of the, uh, the accident can be avoided. Uh, we should not uh, go for any uh, uh, foul play, of course. <laughs> And I do think that the uh, uh, accident happened in the Gulf of Mexico uh, should not be outside of my understanding like this.